I'm sure most of you know by now, but I'm not very fond of being an opener main. I usually stick to my guts and try to work into my mid game where I can play solid enough against my opponents. So today I'm totally throwing that logic out the window and teaching you my signature opener, Sex Spin. You read that right. Sec. Spin. The opener consists of a TSS, TSD into a TST tower. Now you might be thinking, hey Sec, what the hell? TST towers aren't even practical, why would you do this opener? And to that I say, yeah, it's pretty stupid. However, the opener does remain consistent, even if there remains just a little bit of greed. To start out sex spin, you need to build this shape. You'll notice if I flip this section here, I immediately flip it back because we're never going to talk about that again. For the first bag, you need an early O piece and you need to know which side you'll build it on, depending if you get an L or J piece first. And now comes the sad part. The second bag will not lead into a TST tower every time. Now that we've cried about it, let's get into it. For the second bag, you need to build an SCSD. You use the J piece if you're building it this way as a kick notch, and an S piece for the overhang. If you're doing the TST tower, you need your L piece on top of the overhang. If you can't do this, you have four alternative ways to get around it. First and best case scenario, you can use the L piece as an SCSD donation. Do keep in mind you don't want to cover this well if you choose to do so. Second option is to place the I piece in the middle of the board. This can be really risky if you don't have another one coming up, and is also considered impractical if you're playing in a match with someone of your skill. The third option is to use your T piece in the middle to help kick the next one into the SDSD. This wastes the T piece, so you may need to wait a few more pieces until you get another. The fourth and least likely option is to skim your T piece early. This is in case you want to go for that tower, but you get your T piece early. Now that we've gotten our first SDSD, we're not yet going to get to the second part of it. Instead, we're going to build on top of it. Now we'll take the L, J, and I piece to stack up a TST tower as soon as we can. If we don't have those pieces yet, we'll start building our well on the left in order to make it count. Before we send the TST tower, it's super important that you check you have the first 6 rows filled out. Since the first TST is coming from the top, you need to fill out all those rows. You'll have a moderate chance of being able to build the TST tower without wasting a T piece, but sometimes you will be forced to. There are a few continuations of Sexpin that are also the same as DT, you'll see that the residue is similar. If you don't feel greedy at the second bag, you can do the whole SDSD and continue at mid game. You'll have a sizable enough board to work with, as well as having cleared a few T spins with a relatively low board. Sexpin combines both the opportunity to be greedy and show off, or play it safe and efficient, with the small downside of not being available every bag. If you'd like to learn more, I've left a link to the hard drop wiki. It's not actually finished yet, which is why I decided to make a tutorial about it. So thanks for watching, and I promise I'll be uploading more often.